Wade and Chris can see their targets clearly, and when they connect, they're relying on their equipment to get the fish to the boat. Let's take a closer look at what they're throwing at the bass today. Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook presents the end of the line, gearing you up to get a big one tugging on the end of your line. We fished two different trocar hooks primarily today. The, uh, the one we were flipping the most was the, actually the uh, trocar tube hook. We were using a big, white, heavy body tube so we could see it when we threw it down into the bed and, and we could watch the fish, how it related to that bait as it was being pulled through. One of the tough things about a tube is it's such a big, heavy, fat bait. Uh, it's got a lot of mass to it, so it slows the fall down. But if you don't have the right hook, it's hard to get a good hook set. And standards, just a round bend worm hook doesn't really give enough. But the Trocar tube hook is designed to have a big sweeping bend. It's got a long straight point, which gives it a lot of hooking power, but that big bend in it lets that tube collapse out of the way. So when that fish does pick the bait up, the tube doesn't hinder a good hook set. It's got a big heavy plastic keeper on the front, patented by Trocar as well, which holds that tube perfectly aligned. So flip after flip, cast after cast, that bait was always perfectly aligned. So it swam through the water, gave it the most natural presentation possible. And then later in the day, we found another fish. He was a little bit deeper in the water, kind of in an interesting position. You couldn't really cast to her very well. So we flipped over to a drop shot. And the drop shot hook has a lot smaller hook, thin wire, much lighter weight. Uh, we were able to uh, use a small little uh, creek tail worm. And then that allowed us to pitch in there and just shake that thing and just really make it stay in the bed for a long period of time. We're using a spinning rod on that. And so we didn't need to get a big hook set. That hook is so sharp in that fine wire you just feel a little bit of weight because you couldn't really see or pick up the bait. But you feel a little bit of weight on the end of the rod and all you had to do was just lean back into it and you had her hooked up nice and tight. For more information on these surgically sharpened hooks, visit lasertrocar.com. If you missed this episode, I just want to see it again, visit carecotv.com.